When you sense the need to do density mapping, first thing you want to do is to spend a few minutes trying to understand what is the kind of thing you're mapping. So that involves understanding both the data that the features you try to map, as well as the area that uh, will contain those features. Mapping density involves two things. Uh, one thing is the features of the things you want to map for density. The other thing is the area unit that you want to calculate the density. So within a unit, uh, we think they are uniformly distributed. And between units, there is a difference. One of the typical ways to map density is to use regular grids. Uh, so we divide the study area into regular rectangle grids, and then we calculate the density among those. Right? So if we have the number, a count, a sum on each of the grids, then we can consider those are kind of equivalent to density. The other way to do that is we, if we deal with irregular shapes, uh, we call it a predefined area, like a census tract or counties, we need to calculate uh, the density first right, before we can map it. Uh, so if we know the total number, uh, total count, then we can divide that number by the total area to derive the density measurements. And then we are ready to show them as either dot density map or the color graded density map. Here we show three examples taken from the textbook uh, ESRI Guide to Spatial Analysis. Uh, the first one shows the density surface of the business per square miles. This is more like mapping density on regular grids. If the grid is detailed enough, you can see very close to a continuous surface. And the second map shows the idea of the density of rows uh, per square miles. And this is mapped more like kind of isoline uh, map. But you can achieve similar results if your grid is, uh, is detailed, if you find a uh, fine tune enough. Okay. And the third map shows the density measured by predefined area. In this case, it's the census tracts. Uh, and we try to show the population density uh, per square miles. Okay. So these are the kind of mapping techniques we can apply. Again, depending on whether it's a point or line feature, you may have to do some uh, process to calculate the density. Another decision about mapping density is a density measure for the features themselves or things that inside it. So for example, a business establishment. Business has employees. Business has large business has more employees. Small business has less employees. If we want to map the density of business, we're going to get something like uh, the map on the left side. Okay? However, if we consider the number of employees uh, within each business, and then we try to map the density of employees, we get a very different answer. So the map on the right is showing the density of employees, okay? although the location of the points showing the business. 